Hey there, Trevor here at Dongs Unlimited, and we've got a brand new mallet for you. This is a Deep Space R1 gong mallet. We're gonna play it on a few gongs for you because uh, this is a very unique mallet in that it's heavy and soft but also very bouncy. There's a rubber ball in here, so it gives you a nice attack. You bounce off of the gong when you hit it, and it just kind of comes right back to you like a boomerang of sorts. We're gonna play it on a 26-inch Peisty Sound Creation gong, a 32-inch Chow gong, a 36-inch Peisty Symphonic gong, and a 40-inch Atlantis. I know that's quite the wide range of sizes, but we found this mallet really works great on a lot of sizes of gongs. We even played it on a 22 and it sounded pretty cool. It's just small and heavy enough to be functional on the small gongs, but it still brings good deep tones out of the big gongs in a kind of surprising way. Well, we're gonna demonstrate that for you now. Starting off, we're gonna play the 26 inch Heisty Sound Creation Gong. Let's take it away. All right, after poking around on that gong, it's clear to see why this is called a deep space. Now it kind of teleports you to uh, another galaxy, if you will. It brings out nice lows, but it's not just all deep. You still get a nice mid range and top end, but it's soft enough that it keeps the tone pretty low. It doesn't crash too hard. Moving on, we're gonna see how this sounds on a bronze gong, particularly an unlimited 32 inch chow gong. And uh, I'm just gonna get into that one for you.
We've played the Chow Gong. Jack of all trades. This sounds great on nickel silver and bronze gongs. It sounded really good on that Chow Gong. Again, brought out that deep mid range and that low end without ever getting too crashy. I and mean, there's still that classic Chow crash, but it's not like if you were just hitting it with a purely hard, heavy mallet that doesn't have the same bounce that this one does. I feel like it keeps it getting too harsh too fast. Moving on, we're going to go to a slightly bigger nickel silver gong. It's going to be a 36 inch Peisty Symphonic Gong. Let's get to playing. That's maybe a slight surprise for some that such a small mallet still got such well-rounded deep tones out of a big gong like that. Well, 36 inches is uh, definitely nothing to sneeze at size-wise, but this little guy held in there with the best of them. It sounded really cool, I think. It uh, was still able to keep those deep tones and not crash super hard. And you know, if you're hitting a big gong like that with like a small Chinese mallet, for example, you'd probably just be mostly getting mid range and top end for this one still gets you that nice low bass because of that soft rubber. We're gonna take it up even one more notch and we're going to play a 40 inch Atlantis gong and see what's hiding underneath and what sort of soundscapes we can coax out with this unique little mallet.
well, well, maybe you could call me biased because I just love Atlantis Gong. So that might've been my favorite one of the bunch. You know, this really was a unique sounding mallet. I haven't really played any mallets that feel exactly like this one. The balance is very nice. It feels very natural. The mallet just comes right back to you. Good for building up, tapping over the gong, going back and forth like that without really, you know, cranking your wrist too much just sounded really great on such a wide range of gongs. Like I said, we played everything from 22 inch to 40 inch with this gong. And this is not a gong. We played a wide range of sizes with this mallet, you know, everywhere from 22 inch to 40 inch, from nickel silver to bronze. This mallet really sounded good on all of them. And I would uh, personally use it on any size gong in that range and uh, be just stoked with it. A one-way ticket to deep space. What more could you ask for? Gongsunlimited.com. Check it out. Check the link out in the description and uh, check our website out for other gong mallets if you're needing more percussive tools in your life. Thank you. Have a great day. We don't have to use that. This mallet showed me arcane secrets from deep space that frenzied me.